After Sputnik, the Americans scrambled to match the Soviets in space. Their first attempts failed miserably, but they did manage to launch their first satellite, Explorer 1, in 1958. President Dwight D. Eisenhower established NASA that same year, and Project Mercury began with the goal of sending Americans into space. The seven highly skilled test pilots were chosen as astronauts, and in May 1961, three weeks after Yuri Gagarin's flight, Alan Shepard became the first American in space. It was just a 15-minute suborbital flight, but it gave President John F. Kennedy enough confidence to declare a new goal for the nation, to land a man on the moon by the end of the decade. Although America was behind in the space race, JFK believed that setting a new goal would reset the terms of the competition and enable the United States to leap ahead. When asked why the moon, he responded, because it is there. Kennedy believed, simply put, that great nations did great things. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Six of the original seven astronauts would fly to space as part of Project Mercury, the most famous being John Glenn. His flight in February 1962 was the first American mission to orbit the Earth.